Hi guys, it's Antoinette and thanks for tuning in again. So, I want to know what makes her more of a woman than me. Why is she seen as a real woman and someone like me, for instance, not? Exactly what makes her more real than me? What I have a problem with is how everywhere I go in people's general everyday conversations, they refer to people that don't have curves or if, if, you're, if you don't have curves or a bit of bum and breast, you're not seen as a real woman. And I actually find it quite insulting. I think people just need to stop saying it. Not everybody is the same. Now, I get the point of people that make these statements. I know what they're trying to get across, that society is so focused on um, looking a certain way, you need to be a certain figure, whatever you read, like the newspapers, magazines, it's all about losing weight, what the latest diet is, blah de blah However, I don't think going around saying real women have curves is the answer to tackling this issue because I'm hearing this more and more and I feel people need to refrain from saying it because people who are not curvy or meaty are still real. Just, I don't get it. In my opinion, it's offensive calling, it's as offensive as calling someone fat. It still falls under body shaming. Or what people are doing in essence is making a person of a different body shape from them feel bad about how they look. And not every thin or slender person is on a diet or chooses to look the way they look. Many of them are naturally shaped that way and are constantly being condemned. Now, you guys know my story. I'm not going to go into that. So, if a person is confident in who they are, I don't feel that there's any need for them to make others feel less good about themselves or less good about being in their own skin just to make themselves feel comfortable or better. Now, a while ago, I was reading the Metro newspaper and I think it was a Metro and it was an article titled, I won't say sorry for my slim body. And you know, when I saw that paper, I was like, yep, yeah, yep, yeah, you know what time it is immediately caught my attention like I need to read this anyway after the recent Star Wars movie people started criticizing Daisy Ridley you know one of the actresses because she's quite slim if you know she's naturally quite slim and um, she said someone left a comment on her Instagram post stating um, something like I can't believe the unrealistic expectations that um, Daisy was setting for young girls don't doesn't she know that real women have curves <laughs> you see, when I read that and Daisy's response to the woman's comment, it resonated so much with me simply because I had gotten those statements most of my teen and adult life. Daisy's response to this critic was, real women, I think, don't quote me, real women come in all shapes, sizes, ethnicities, all levels of brave, and I'm a real woman like any other woman in this world. Can we get a round of applause for Daisy? Come on. Phil. Yeah. I'm gonna adopt that statement because obviously I 100% agree with it. There is nothing wrong with me and I will not allow anyone else to make me feel otherwise, neither should you. I used to think that I had to be a bit thick to be classified attractive, or should I say, seen as an attractive black woman because you know it's kind of expected what a lie i'm all here for you daisy and everything you have to say and everything you stand for i stand strong with you on that point yo it's time people like me who don't quite fit the standard or do, don't quite look the part according to who knows what stood up for ourselves and not be made to feel bad about how we look and i think this is also for the guys yeah i know a lot of you are out there struggling with weight issues and um, that you can't readily talk about. And some of you trying to grow a beard, yeah? You ain't got it, and it's not meant to be, but you're trying to pick those tiny strands, just like poking it out. No, be happy with yourself. Don't fall into the trap of calling a particular type of woman real when there are billions of women on this planet and they all don't look the same. Whether you're male or female, be body confident. I think it's so important. It will take you far. So many of you or so many people are suffering unnecessarily with body issues and they don't feel great about themselves. So I'm going to continue to spread this message or get this message out there because I know how it feels. I've been there, done that. And beauty comes in different shapes, different sizes. As long as you're healthy, 
I feel you need to embrace your looks and own it. And saying all of this, I would love to hear your opinion on this. I mean, hit me up in the comments box. Let me know what you're feeling about this, what you think regarding what I've said. If you totally disagree with me, it's fine. I just want to know your opinions. Let's open up a dialogue on this. Anyway, guys, um, it's all love. I'm saying all of this in love. Until next time, remember, it's one step at a time to becoming confident. At about 12 midnight, my contractions started, and by 2 a.m., they were becoming really intense and unbearable. Turned over to my husband and said, it's time that we go to the hospital.